Hey everyone, today I'm filming for you the second update in my 2018 Project 10 pan. So I will start with base products and my first two products are my correctors. Um, so these are both my MAC correctors and I've got the green one and the pink one here. So this is my under eye corrector and the green one for redness in my face which I get quite a lot of. Um, and my goal for my last update was to hit side pan in both of these which I have managed to do. So I'm really really pleased with the progress on these. By my next update, I think I would quite like to have maybe kind of sort of used up half of these. So if you guys can see, this is like, there's quite a good chunk out of this one. So if I could kind of get that so it's just like a straight line. And then this one, I think I probably already used going into half of it because I have tunneled quite far in. Um, so if I sort of was able to use this bit round the edge I'd be quite happy with that. So yeah those are my goals for my next update. I am very pleased with my progress on these. Um, I wouldn't have used these at all this year probably or I would have used them like a handful of times if I hadn't put them in the project so I'm definitely pleased to be getting the use of them and I'm really enjoying the difference that although it is that extra step that I think I hadn't been making an effort to do before um, I am actually really enjoying the difference in my makeup when I do take the time to colour correct so yeah, I am really thankful that I put them into this project. The next product I'll talk about is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the liquid one. Um, I actually kind of hoped that I would have finished this by this update. Now, obviously, that has sadly not happened. But this is where we're at on it. No matter what I mark it with, it just seems to rub off. I have been consistently using this. I actually kind of was hoping I might have finished it by this update, but... Um, sadly not, but hopefully maybe by the next update. Um, I do think I'll finish it within the year, but it's definitely going slower than I thought. I am quite an oily skinned person, so like I know some people go through these by like mixing it with foundation and stuff, which I don't really feel like I need to do that. So I do literally just use this on the high points of my cheeks. And if you watch my makeup rehab, my most recent update on that, I did say like one of the things I've really learned this year is that I wear makeup maybe three days a week sometimes for like I don't wear makeup every day so if I'm just using something if I'm dotting it like with like you know if I take this out so like the product that's on that from that that would do both my cheeks on this so I'm not using a lot of it every time so I can't really be that surprised that I've not like kind of whacked right through it but um yeah I just know other people do these really really quickly but that's just not my skin type so it's not gonna work for me and my makeup look so yeah um slowly but surely and I do think I'll knock it out before the end of the year but I'm hoping maybe by my next update which I think will be probably kind of start in November I'm hoping I might have finished this at that point. The next product I'll talk about is my Illamasqua cream blush in the shade Rude. Now I feel like as I've been using this I haven't really noticed a lot of progress and I've been getting a little bit frustrated with it but I did watch back my last update just before filming this and I think I actually when I look at that side by side the footage of the last update versus now I do think you can tell that I have definitely widened that pan. This is just such a pigmented blush that you don't need a lot of it so it's probably was never something I was going to go through. I think when I started my project pan I really was hoping that like by the end of the year I would have like a big huge pan in it. That's maybe not realistic. Yeah I'm going to kind of just keep chiseling on and hoping to widen this and get the use of it. I'm still enjoying using it. The next product is another one that I really hoped I might finished by this update. I can't remember if I actually said that in my last update or not but I was hoping I might have finished this. I haven't though but I have made some good progress. My Essie Loader powder, that is what is left of it. Yeah, I did repress it. I didn't repress it particularly well. I am now just having to kind of try and work my way through it as it is. I'm thinking about maybe trying to repress it again. Um, but yeah, so hopefully next update I will have knocked this out. But yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't rush to repurchase it, but I'm, I will use it up. Um, the only thing is because it is a bit messy now I'm not taking it out during the day to touch up with it so I'm using it in the mornings but again my progress on it has slowed down because I'm not taking it up and touching up with it through the day so I might repress it again see if I have better luck the second time. A product I really haven't made any progress on or well not I have used this but there's just not any visible progress and this is my Chanel Illusion D'Ombre in the shade Mirage which I love this is what this looks like so this is pretty much what it looked like the last time as well it's kind of continued to break apart 
Um, so I have been using it, but because I did see I was thinking about repressing it, um, but because I had such a disaster with that powder that I tried to repress, I was a bit like, oh, it's kind of put me off mucking around with this. So I've just been using it, dipping my brush in and using it as a loose shadow, but I think I've definitely used it a lot as it is. So I think I might roll this out and roll something else in. The other thing that I found because I, as I say, have realised how little in the grand scheme of things I do actually wear makeup, like I feel very restricted by my project pen. I feel like I have to use those items. Um, so I'm going to take the eyeshadow out and I'm going to roll in the shade Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills because I feel like that way I'm still planning an eyeshadow so I would still like to see pattern on this. That will be my goal for it. Um, but I feel like because that's quite a nice base shade I can kind of put that down and I don't have to feel restricted in whatever eye look I am kind of going for that day. So I'm taking my Chanel shadow out of my project and I'm rolling in Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette. Another item that I'm not doing quite so well with is the Makeup Forever powder. Now I have definitely used this more than I used by my last update. You know this line is where it was at the introduction. I think it is slightly slightly dipped from the introduction but really not anything particularly noticeable. What I'm going to do with this is keep it in the project just now. Um, I'm going to use up my Estee Lauder powder and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to roll, if I'm rolling something out before I've hit my goal on it I'll replace it with another item but if I, if I hit my goal on something I'm just going to take it out and count that as a panned product. Um, what I don't want to do is roll something out because I don't think I'm going to hit my goal in it and just say that item's done. I still want to hit a goal in place of that, so that's why I'm replacing the eyeshadow. Um, but once my Estee Lauder powder's done, I'm not necessarily going to replace that with another face powder. So I'm going to keep this in the project just now because when I go to New York, I am planning to vlog every day. So I'm going to take this and hopefully use it whilst I'm on holiday, get some good use out of it, and see if that either reinvigorates me to kind of keep using this and keep it in the project till the end of the year or potentially if at that point whatever my next update is I'll decide what I'm doing and um, but I might roll this out and roll in like a more traditional um, face powder that's not for filming. On a day-to-day -day basis there's no point in using this because it is for filming so I used it today um, and I'll use it in New York but I think I might switch it out for another item but we shall see. You'll get confirmation in my next update but that's that's my thought process. And we're on to my lip products. So another one that I think I've made really good progress on is my MAC Cindy Lauper lipstick. So this is what this one looks like. Again, I feel like I've made really good progress here. Now my goal originally, there were some marks, there were some marks in the back of this lipstick. And my goal was to use it down until the marks were away. So I've technically hit my goal in this. I think for now, I'm gonna say the goal has been met in this and take it out of the project. I think, and again I'm getting kind of probably a bit ahead of myself here, um, next year I said in my last makeup rehab update that I was going to look at doing more like small seasonal project pans and I think this is the sort of lipstick that I would maybe like to finish. Um, so I think maybe in my sort of 15 before Florida or something project pan that I'm planning for the future because I go to Florida March next year so I would quite like to get maybe like 15 items knocked out by then. You know, I think this might go into that kind of project. I would like to see this lipstick done, but for now I have definitely hit and surpassed my goals on it. I'm really happy that I've got the use out of it because I know if I hadn't put it in the project, I just wouldn't be using it at all. Um, but yeah, I think I've hit my goal and I'm going to say that that's, this one is now goal complete and out the project. The next one I've definitely still not hit my goal on is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Veil, but again, it's that packaging that you can't even really see. I have been making more of an effort to use this, but if I'm totally honest, I still haven't really used this, and it's still pigmented, it's still creamy, it's not even getting to that point where, you know, the formula feels any thinner or anything like that, so, yeah. I'm gonna keep it in the project for now. I am doing my Nine Before New York project plan, so I'm also trying to kind of work on Kat Von D Lita liquid lipstick. So I think this will probably take a bit of a backseat whilst I'm working on that anyway, but for now I'm going to keep it in the project. The last item that I'm going to update you on, Marc Jacobs Mini Lip Gloss. Now again, I was kind of hoping I might have finished this by this update, which I have not done. However, there's not really any breaks for you guys to see it. I've done the thing where I've like 
held my phone torch up against it to see where the product is and if you remember last time there was a little break so we could see I was sitting just below the J or just on the J but I am now currently sitting just below the M so we have used up the majority of the product. I don't think it'll be long before I need to take the stopper out but yeah I'm not really a lip gloss person but this is fine. I definitely wouldn't rush to repurchase it because I'm, I'm really sorry somebody's mowing their lawn outside so I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I, all the windows are shut. I don't know why they're as loud as they are. I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, I'm really sorry if that is picking up on camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping by the next update I will finish this. I'm not a huge lip gloss lover so I wouldn't go out and repurchase it or anything like that. But I've not hated using it so I will finish it off. But that is my product pan update. So yeah, one thing rolled out and something else rolled in. Um, and some decent progress on pretty much everything except... The HD powder and the bourgeois lipstick so overall like I don't think it's going too badly for being my first ever project pan I have now started my nine before New York project pan as well so if you haven't seen the intro to that um, I will link it down below that's just going to be a really short-term intensive project pan and um, but I'm quite enjoying it so you know fingers crossed it goes well thank you so much for watching this video and I will speak to you soon bye